Um, I recently saw in Kotarina there is like this kind of boat races. So the first, first or let's say there is a contest of like two weeks. The first three days are for boats to compete. Can no, you explain first, a bit what... The first hour. Ah, the first hour. So it's only one hour. How it's does it work? I, I never like explored further. Like what are boat races and how they work? Well, you, you've got access to, to the code base and to the scope. You input the scope. You run your boat. You kind of filter some false positives if you want. And then you submit. You've got one hour to do that. Ah, so you just submit the output of your bot. You don't submit oh, you... anything manually. Uh, well, I, I suspect some do some things manually. Uh, and I did think about uh, like uh, having a lot of false positives and then adding, uh, adding a special kind of comment and then running it with that other one. And uh, it would be helpful uh, to, to kind of do that because you've got one hour so five minutes would be enough actually if you just had the, the scope and push on your button but have you as you've got uh one hour you can go a little beyond on things that uh, aren't that easy to uh, to automate and why did they separate uh, yeah. it i don't understand like why did they make it like separately and make a separate port for bots like what what's because the idea there were behind so it? many bots already uh, that were earning the top spots on qa and gas reports uh that uh, everything every reports were feeling like they were the same uh now with the boat race the boats are kind of progressing fast very fast uh and it's getting hard to to get into it um for new boats um mm. And uh, yeah, it, it's mainly to, to not have the same bazillion amount of duplicates. And as they share, usually, usually uh, in the first day, the, the bot's output, you, you get to know what kind of gas optimizations or QA findings you aren't supposed uh, to, to submit because they would be out of scope. And there, there's even once where the, a boat found a high, pretty nice one. Wow. Yeah, so... Um, not sure I'm allowed yes, yet uh, to, <laughs> to talk about it. Uh, because your bot, to... your bot for an No, not route. mine. Not, not no, mine. I, I, I believe on that one. Uh, yes, sometimes, you know, overworking. I actually fell asleep before the boat race and I, <laughs> I woke up after and I was like, oh no, I just missed that. You missed that. You missed to click the, you need to automate the pressing the button, you know, just to scrape the dates when yeah, the boat restarts but... and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I need to find some way to scrap uh, the website and go into the scope table and do oh, that. That's maybe, maybe that's an idea. That's an idea, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, actually, so all the th findings uh, after the bot race are being announced and they tell it, okay, this is out of scope. Like, how does yeah. it work? So like yeah. once you start a contest, you know, these ones all already been found and you don't need to report them. Yes, because it was really time consuming for for judges to to judge yeah, the yeah, same yeah. reports I, again makes and again sense. And, and now as there is a separate port for gas and qa i believe it could even be more interesting as you'd get some impactful findings but could earn you more in terms of gas or in terms of qa so it's even yeah it's a win-win situation i think that's super cool. So, uh, yeah, so how, how do they distribute the rewards in terms of bots, like the bots that found the most amount of significant findings? Yeah, there's actually the, the, the winner. <clears throat> then there are rank A and rank B. But if you've got a rank C uh, several times in a row, you, you get uh, relegated, I think they call that. But, um, yeah, it's uh, you've got a winner earning uh, some percentage more than uh, the rank A's. And uh, the rank B is earned a lot less than the rank A bots. I did manage to to earn rank A several times, tied for first once, uh, got rank B <laughs> once. Mm -hmm. So it really sometimes depends on the code base because sometimes they don't sit that well with your automation, but they sit better with someone else's because everyone's doing their own stuff, uh, but we don't use the same patterns or AST or code to match uh, the findings interesting so you're still doing that uh i have less time to spend on it so i'm mainly catching up you know when there are the the winning ones i i, I just try to follow along at first i was trying to have some alpha findings um but uh, it was taking me several hours every day and uh, now i just try to catch up when there's a new report and i haven't won and i try to incorporate everything about uh 
what was valid for other people. So it's kind of faster to catch up than being the first to have some ideas. Yeah. yeah. And maybe at that point, I would have copied so much <laughs> everyone that I would just win. I don't know every time because I would have everyone's boat in mind. Who knows? It's a, it's a strategy, mm -hmm. but uh, it's the only one I can afford uh, right now uh, by being uh, time limited. Interesting. Okay, that's that's cool. And